Hey, what's going on guys? How are we doing? So, um, I just stumbled across this. It's kind of interesting. I was going through my emails. I was searching for one and, uh, came across this email from, uh, over six years ago. This is back in 2010. Um, this is me hitting, this is me on the left here hitting. And then this is me on the right hitting about two months later. Um, this story could actually, I, I could make this video about probably 10 hours long. I'll try to condense it. Um, the reason I'm throwing it up here, for one, I just found it. And for two, you know, I talk to people all the time and they, and we've talked about this before. They have this idea that, um, you know, everything is just uh, God given what you're born with. It's really hard to change anything. You know, you can't go crazy with swing mechanics because a guy swings the way he swings and, and blah, blah, blah. Well, if you follow my career at all, um, Again, this could take a really long time. I'll try to condense it as much as possible. Maybe I'll make a longer video one day and really go in depth. But if you follow my career at all, um, you'll see that I, you know, I, went, I played a Wake Forest. I hit really well. I was drafted in the first round. I went through the minors really quick. I hit well basically every year. I got the AAA, um, and my swing all of a sudden really changed for a, a whole bunch of reasons. Too many reasons to go into. But anyways, if you look at my numbers in AAA. They're really, really poor. Um, it was in AAA my first year um, in 2008, I think it was. And then I went to the Arizona Fall League and hit really poorly. And then I hit really poorly the year after that. And so I went through this stretch where people thought that, um, you know, AAA pitching was too good for me. And, um, you know, they thought that, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe I'd reached my sailing. I just couldn't go anymore. Or, or maybe there was something in my head or you know, they gave me like a hundred different reasons. I was hitting with a hundred different hitting coaches. And, um, you know, I knew at, at this point, I knew nothing about the swing. I had always, I tell people I had always just hit and I never thought about the swing and I never thought about the swing until all of a sudden I didn't hit. And then I didn't know why I wasn't hitting, but I couldn't figure it out. Cause I didn't even know what I was doing when I was hitting, if that makes sense. Um, and so, um, so i these videos, basically, this video, this is like right when I tried to, I, I basically had to figure out what was going on. And, um, you know, again, long story short, short uh, one of my buddies, Sean Wooten, who is now um, a coach with the Dodgers, um, very good hitting coach, probably the best hitting coach I've ever come in contact with. He ended up being my roommate um, when I was in AAA and I was scuffling and, um, and he really taught me, he was the first one to really start to teach me about the swing and how it works. And explained to me that, you know, uh, yes, I might have been a good hitter and I'm a good athlete and blah, blah, blah. But my swing had totally fallen apart and totally changed. And I wasn't going to be able to hit the way I was hitting. And there's, you know, there's certain key principles or, or uh, you know, core things that you have to have in your swing if you want to hit. And he really was the first one to teach me. So, again, without going too crazy, I want to show you this video because um, here I am on the left. This is how I was swinging. Um when I was really struggling and I look back at it now that I know, you know, now I can look back at all my videos and be like, Oh my God, what was I doing? How did I ever get into these habits? How did my swing get like this? Um, and, um, but the crazy part is at the time I was doing it, I didn't know it looked any different because it felt the same. And, uh, and I didn't know enough about swings to even be able to tell the difference. So take a quick peek, watch my swing on the left here. This is this swing right here. will will get you to hit about two, 200, Actually, probably about 150 in AAA. The only reason I finished at like 230 is because I started to change some things. Um, but so here it is. This is my swing um, when I was struggling. Let me go back a little bit. Here's my swing hitting off the tee when I was really struggling. Well, hold on, let me see. It's a little tough because I just watched the one on the left. So, you know, horrible swing. <laughs> nothing, my swing looked nothing like this. My, my years in college or my years, um, especially my early years in the minors when I really started to hit the ball really well. Um, but here's my swing. You can see it's a really, you know, high hands, really pushing down to the ball. This is kind of what happened when I started to struggle and more and more people started to tell me, use your hands, you know, down to the ball, you know, all the stuff that you, you hear all the time. And so I really started to push my hands. I had zero power. I lost my ability to drive the ball. I hit 20, 21 home runs a season before my single A, double A season, and I hit like seven, I think, in triple A. Um, you know, really on my front foot, I'm not staying behind the ball. I'm really, you know, my weight is really pushing, really pushing over my front side. So I don't really have any leverage or anything. There's no whip to my bat. Um, 
you know, I hit a lot of ground balls to the left side. I hit a lot of weak pop-ups to the right side. I really sliced the ball out. My bat wasn't in the zone at all. It wasn't in the zone early. I'm really, you know, my bat gets in and out of the zone real quick. It really enters the zone really late um, in the hitting area, way out front. So I couldn't hit anything in the right field hard. Um, you know, it's just, it's really, really poor, as you can see. Um, so the swing on the right is actually not that, not that um, much in the future. It's probably a couple of months. I, I literally had to work like, you know, every day breaking my swing down. I, I actually, I worked with uh, Sean, who I talked to you about earlier. We worked on online. So I would send him my videos. He lived um, at the time, he was, well, he still does in, in Minnesota. So I would hit and I'd send him the video and then he would uh, break it down and basically tell me what I should try to do. And so you can see the one on the right and this is still, you know, this is not a perfect swing or anywhere close to it, but you can see the differences. Some of the things I was able to change pretty quickly is now, you know, I was able to, First of all, my bat path completely changes. I know this pitch is a little bit higher, but you can see me, you know, I talk a lot about turning the barrel. Um, you can see the difference in the way I'm swinging, how I'm rotating um, versus the one on the left. Again, if you kind of put your eyes back and forth, if you go to the one on the left, again, you can see there's, I'm, I'm, I'm not rotating at all. I'm trying to push my hand down and at the ball. I'm trying to keep my front shoulder on the ball because that's what I was being told by a lot of coaches. Stay on the ball. You're pulling off the ball. Um, and so I'm like fighting myself. I'm trying to stay on the ball, but it's not allowing me to. I'm pushing the bat. There's no rotation at all. Um, and again, you go to the one on the right and watch the way that I'm, I'm transferring my weight better, but I'm staying behind my front side. So I'm not just pushing the, the front to the front side, all the way to the front side and trying to like block it off. But I'm actually rotating and turning. You can see as I rotate, I'm staying, you know, there's no more forward movement as I'm rotating and turning into the ball. First, the one on the left, again, if you go back, look at how much I'm drifting while trying to turn, but not really turning at all. Um, so you can see totally, totally different swing. And I, and I, and this was literally, I had to break the, the swing down to its absolute, you know, very beginning points and work at it day after day after day in slow motion. Um, this was not, these were not easy fixes. Um, you know, I don't know how many hours I put into it, but I put a lot of hours into it and it took a couple of months, but here's my point again. So I go to spring training. I hadn't hit, if you, this swing on the left, I hadn't hit in two years. I mean, I hit 200. Um, I went to spring training here. This is like right before spring training. I showed up at spring training. I was in big league camp again. Um, you know, I'd been technically battling for a major league spot for like three years. And I probably, you know, if my swing didn't fall apart, I probably would have had a chance to get one earlier than I did. But anyways, I go, I go to camp here and, um, this swing right here, totally, I show up from the first day of camp. I could tell from the very first swing I took and, 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 BP and I, actually I'll back up real quick. I remember, I vividly remember Sean telling me, um, and this isn't the, the swing, this is like still early. This is probably a month or two before spring training, but um, I got my swing to the point where I remember Sean told me right before I left for spring training, he said, you're ready and you're going to rake. And I hadn't raked, you know, I hadn't hit in like two years. And, uh, and he said, you're going to hit with that swing. I can tell. And at the time still, I didn't know a ton about swings, but I just said, okay, I trusted him. And I uh, went to spring training and I could tell from the very first practice that I was going to, I was going to rake. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I played the entire spring training. I was in big league camp. I, you know, I got a bunch of starts at second base and I was technically, I guess, battling out for a spot on the big league team. And I think I hit just under 400. I think I led the team, the big league team in spring training that year. Um, you know, I just felt like I hit every day, every game. Um, I felt like I was getting a hit or two hits or, you know, if I wasn't, I was hitting the ball hard every time. Um, and so... You know, the, the main point is that here's, I'm a pretty good example of how important the swing is and how you're not just meant to hit. And, you know, people say, oh, it has great hand-eye coordination or blah, 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 whatever. I mean, it all comes down for me to the swing. And if you, you can take a guy that you think has great hand-eye and great athleticism and great quickness and all this stuff, and if you give him this crappy swing over here, which I developed over a couple of years, you're not going to hit. I mean... I know I'd, I had no chance every single year. It was very frustrating to go from someone that had a different swing before and could hit, and then all of a sudden I couldn't hit at all. 
Um, and then you take the same person. I didn't change anything. I was the same weight. I was the same strength. I didn't have eye issues. I didn't have nothing changed. I just changed my swing. I changed the way I moved my body, which in turn changed the way the bat came through the zone. And that gave me the ability to hit all over again. Um, and then all of a sudden I went from being probably one of the worst hitters in the world to being someone that had, um, you know, I, 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 I'm pretty sure if I hadn't had such bad years the first few years or the few years before this swing that I had, a, I, I probably could have made the team. And if it was based just on hitting ability, I think I hit the ball well enough to be able to make the team. Um, but again, I ended up not making it. I actually broke my hand um, a week before the season in 2010 started and I missed the entire season with a broken hand and, uh, and two wrist surgeries. So I missed all of 2010. But then in 2011, if you look, I came back with a pretty similar swing because I'd finally learned how to swing the bat. I learned what I was trying to do. And uh, I, I switched teams. The Padres designated me for assignment, I think it was, or non-tendered me, actually. And, uh, you know, I missed the whole 2010 season. I was on the big league roster the whole year, but I didn't play a single game. Um, and so I got non-tendered. And uh, which made me a free agent. The Nationals signed me. And I went to AAA with the Nationals. And I ended up hitting. You know, I made the AAA All-Star team. Thought I was had a chance to get called up. And ended up hitting 300. Um, ended up hitting double-digit home runs, I believe. And I, I still ended up missing like half the season again. Because I, I had another wrist surgery. And that was kind of, you know, that I ended up having wrist surgeries basically every year for the rest of my career until I stopped playing. But, um, you know, once I got this swing back, all of a sudden I really started to hit again and um and the crazy part is people still thought that you know I, it was something in my head and it must have just gotten out of my head one day and and i i gained my confidence back and i i became a good hitter again um, and not many people could realize that it was a total swing change i basically blew up my swing built it all over again and so the ability you know i already said this but i'll end it with this again um you can change your swing and I've seen players, again, not just me, but a lot of players be really unsuccessful and make major swing changes and become really good hitters. And I've seen really good hitters, they get into bad habits for whatever reason, whether they listen to the wrong person or they just kind of started slowly changing over time and not realizing it and they become really bad hitters. So, um, you know, now my job is basically, I just coach hitters. I mean, I coach players, I coach infield and everything, but I'm just coaching hitters and trying to relay the same message and trying to teach some of the core fundamentals. I shouldn't, I, I, you know, fundamentals make it sound like it's very simple, but some of the core movements and um, swing ideas and, um, you know, swing movements basically that will help you become a much better hitter. Um, because in all honesty, most hitters I see at younger levels are being taught more like this swing over here on the left. These are the things that a lot of players are being taught and then players are unsuccessful and they're saying, why am I unsuccessful? I don't understand. I'm doing everything I'm being told. It's because they're getting bad information. Um, and so, um, you know, the, again, my swing is not perfect over here, but a lot of the things that I was working on are some of the things that I think help players be successful and give you a chance. And then if you happen to be, you know, if you happen to have good hand eye, as they say, and you have, you know, it's not just a swing, obviously, it's, a, it's some other things, but if you, if you have some of those things and then you can put a really good swing together, you have, you have a chance to play at a really, really high level. Um, and even if you don't have some of those natural things, if you have a swing that gives you a really good chance to hit, helps you increase bat speed and the path you're bad and you know, all that stuff that we've already talked about, now you have a chance to be a really, really, really good hitter so let me know if you have any questions i know it's kind of a long story i could have made it about 10 hours longer because it's uh, it's actually kind of interesting i guess to to kind of look through um my swing changes and how everything you know how my career went up and down and and uh and stuff like that so let me know if you have any questions share the video with all your friends subscribe to the channel um comment in the section below all that good stuff and we will talk to you later